In today's video, I wanted to share with you a continuation of a series that I started where I talk about a very popular handbag and show you all the different ways that you can style it and whether you feel like it will be suitable for you or not. I'm going to link the series right here. So there's already another episode at the moment that you can check out on the Coco handle. For today, I wanted to talk about the Chanel 19, which is still a very, very popular handbag that I get asked all the time. I'm not really going to do an in-depth review because I already have more than a couple of videos on this bag. I will leave a playlist right up here. Uh, one of the more frequently asked questions that I get is wear and tear. Just to give you a bit of context, my one is from the, wow, I'm starting to forget now. I think it's from the Cruise 2020 collection. So I got this in December of 2019. So it was fairly new when this bag came out. I think it came out in the fall and I got it in the cruise collection in lambskin. So it's in shiny lambskin. Uh, this bag is a permanent style. So in Chanel term or in Chanel vocabulary, this is considered a permanent style because it comes back every single season. Same with the Gabrielle, same with the boy bag. Okay, now that we got all the details out of the way, uh, so I'm looking at my bag, no corner wear. So the corners are perfectly fine, which is one of the reasons why I rave about this bag so much because you would think that a lambskin is hard to take care of, but it's absolutely not. I uh, obviously take care of my bags, but I don't have to baby this bag. You know, I, I just wear it and it's such an easy grab and go. So in terms of wear and tear, I honestly cannot tell you much. Um, I have maybe this little, I think it's, I think it's just a, a little, do you see the little white mark? I'm gonna try to pinpoint it right there. Do you see it? It's very, very faint. I think I can just buff it. It's really nothing. It's like you just buff it and it goes away. A lot of you worry about the different tones on the CC, the CC brooch and the turn lock. So the turn lock does appear a bit more lighter. It's just a different texture from the actual brooch itself. So the brooch itself has more of a kind of like a vintage gold, whereas the, the actual turn lock is kind of more of a lighter vintage gold whereas the brooch has more of a the brooch has more of a very yellow vintage gold that's why they look different and even then i feel like even with all the micro scratches because every time you close your bag it kind of you know it kind of just does that it's still fine there's honestly there's absolutely nothing wrong with it I can't, I can't even complain about that. That's what I've been saying all along that this bag is so much more hard wearing than you think. In terms of structure, because I know this is one of the main concerns for most people, obviously it doesn't have the same structure as a classic flap. If you look at my bag, it doesn't look too uh, crazy or anything like that. It doesn't uh, sag or do anything too weird except where my hand is um, sitting right now. And that is because I do store it with an organizer inside. So I do use a custom organizer. Mine is just the uh, Samorga one. And I like getting their classic one because it really does add to the um, preserving the shape of your bag long term, especially when you're not using the bag. When you're using the bag, it's fine if you don't want to keep the organizer inside. But when you are using the bag, I really do believe that the organizer plays a really important role in maintaining the shape of it when uh, you store the bag and I only store my bag upright. I don't store any of my bags in any other way. All my bags, absolutely all my bags are stored upright on their shelf with the chains tucked inside and that's it. I do have an enclosed shelf, but it's not sealed. It's not airtight, so it's still breathable. And for any other bags that are larger that are not in enclosed space, I do use their dust bags. But other than that, I don't really do anything special in terms of storage. Another frequently asked question that I get is, 
is this bag worth it? Should I get it? And that is a very hard to answer question because it's very subjective. I say go for it if you're on the fence and if you love the style. But if you're on the fence and you didn't like it at first, then try it out a few more times in store. If you have a friend, try theirs. You might end up loving it more than you think because this is what this bag does to you. The top handle, this is a major, major plus for this bag. Trust me, this is the main reason why I bought this bag. But after owning it, I actually love it even more because this is an easy grab and go. You know, we all love the idea of a classic flap. I still want a classic flap. But I also keep hearing, and I think it's true, that most people don't really use their classic flaps, especially the medium large size or the jumbo for that matter. And it's because it's, it's a very specific sort of very elegant look in a way. It's not a bag that you want to wear every day and it's not a spacious. Every time I think about wearing a bag that I uh, don't want to downsize, I just reach for this one. It's your very everyday practical Chanel bag. And you cannot say that with the classic flap. You just can't. It's it's just not the same. By the way, if you're brand new here, hello, my name is Amy and I do a lot of luxury and fashion videos. So I would love to have you subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. In terms of cons, there aren't that many actually. I would say that one of the con is that the style itself is a little bit casual. So it doesn't really go with every occasion. But that is to be expected because I don't think you can find a single handbag in this world that will be suitable for all occasions. The other con, I guess, is um, the price. Aside from that, I love this bag. <laughs> uh, it's one of my favorite. Uh, for me, as of today, it's one of my forever. So up next, I'm going to show you seven different outfits where I wore this bag. It will give you a very good visual as to whether you feel like it goes with that style of outfit or not. But honestly, there are no rules, not anymore anyway, in fashion. I feel like we can be very liberal as to how we want to style ourselves. And whether a bag is appropriate for that occasion is really just up to you. <laughs>
like I said earlier, there are no rules. I feel like if you really had to, just tuck in the chains inside the bag and just use it as a clutch, right? Because it has that top handle and also because you can sort of tuck it under your armpit and just use it as your clutch that day. It doesn't look as cohesive, but it doesn't look bad either. So all in all, I feel like this bag is wonderful, which is why it's one of my favorite, which is why it is also my forever bag. And I totally recommend it. If you don't own this bag, let me know whether you would consider adding it now, or if you already own it, let me know what you think about it. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I would also love to have you back, so please don't forget to subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.